Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HD. This is video 20, and today we're talking about the sideband module. So let's right click the display port in a preset and let's add in a sideband. And it's all the way here at the bottom called SB1. And as you can see, we have two of these. So basically, this is going to be a stereo frequency shifter, right? The frequencies are shifted by a constant value and not by a factor. And that value is here in the range. So we have 10 hertz, we have 200 hertz, and we have 4K. A pretty simplistic module on its face, but it can give you some really weird sounds here. So on the left-hand side, we have frequency here, and this is basically the bipolar frequency shift. So let's take a listen. And this is on 10 hertz. We can go to 200. And then on 4K. And then if we double-click this here, this is basically going to be zero. Now, if we skip over this modulation knob, because as we see, each one has their own modulation knob, we come over here to offset. Now, this is going to be the bipolar offset between the left side and the right side, which is a weird sound. And then we have over here mix. We basically have a bipolar crossfade between the dry signal and the frequency, sh uh, the frequency shifted signal. So there's something very cool in the manual that it's a very weird effect. So let's move this sideband down one cell. Let's disable the oscillator one right now, and let's add a noise module. And for our noise, what we're going to do is we're going to add some pink noise and send it through it. So let's select the noise one here. Select our pink noise. And let's put all this back to default for now. And basically what we need to do is have our range on 10, which is fine, our frequency on zero, which is already is by default, and have our offset to two. So one click here to the right, and the mix is gonna be 50, which it is by default, and take a listen to this. And it even looks very strange in this view here as well. So a very simplistic module, but, but a lot of fun to play with here. And especially on this mix knob here, the negative values will invert the process signal. And if you want max phasing, so the max amount, you're going to want to be at about 50 here. So where it is by default. So yeah, and that's basically the sideband in a nutshell. It's not really too complicated and it's kind of a weird module to have. And it's kind of fun. You can make some really weird stuff with that one. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.